that's a really special moment, actually. I think I've been struck, actually, by the similarities, actually. It's 2022, we're just coming out of a pandemic. It's a real moment of celebration, re-energising. It, it's wonderful. And actually, when the school moved in 1922, that was just after the Spanish flu pandemic, measles epidemics. And again, that was a real period of renewal. So actually, I think that there were similarities there. It was um, 100 years ago that they found this strange, I think it was a religious order or something originally, but they found this place and bought it and brought the school here. Just looking back on the history and the amazing women who have led the school here, who started up, who made sure there was water and you know, the first few nights there weren't any beds and they slept outside um, and just sort of thinking about how that's progressed. It's a really, it's a really special time. It brings back so many memories. I can, I can even look at the tiling on the floor and remember the dip in the steps and just the, it brings back smells that I remember. Just all sorts of, yeah, amazing memories. All my life I've smelt the, the smell of that arch room and the old wooden steps to go up to it and it yes. had the most extraordinary sense of freedom because mm. it had huge glass windows mm. not as big as the windows as they are now I mean it is fabulous mm. now what has been built in the, in this hundred years I know it started off in down in Kent but it's mind-blowing really when I first came there were few, far fewer buildings really there wasn't a science block, which is a prominent building now. Um, the courts were grass tennis courts, there were three. The headmistress used to live in a house which is now a boarding house. There's been a lot of new building, new boarding houses. The far centre was new. Um, while I was there, that, that was built. And that replaced the old school gym, which was down at the bottom of the school. And I can remember supervising um, socials in that gym, one of those old gyms with wooden bars on the walls. Um, that's now the computer room, so there's been some very big changes to teaching spaces as well. You know, many people remember the water tower, but uh, that's now been replaced by the Murray Centre, which has really sort of livened up the middle of the school. So whether you want to study, socialise, get refreshments, um, watch plays, have lessons. It's, it's fantastic, it's a real hub of the school, so it's been a fantastic addition. I can definitely see the difference it's made, not only just visually to the school, it, it feels like the school has a sort of focal centre um, and a sort of heart to it now that it perhaps didn't have as much before. It's sort of one of the hearts of the school, but then so is the cloisters, and so it's that kind of fusion of modern and traditional, which I love. It feels very much kind of like a sanctuary um, in the middle of the woods. And I'd say the sight around here and the fact that we're surrounded by so much nature and so much green and fresh air really encapsulates how down itself is like a balance between work and like relaxation and play and having fun. I mean, I just, I love the site. It's really nice. We've seen huge changes in my time here, but at the same time, the actual heart and the spirit of Dan hasn't changed at all. I think our recent inspection, they, they talked about our girls being really spirited, and that's been the case from the moment I joined in back in 2004. Whenever I interact with the girls here, I always come away feeling re-energized, <laughs> almost like they've recharged my batteries, and I think that kind of speaks to how brilliant they are as a kind of community of peoples. I think the welcoming ethos, as far as I can see, is still there for the girls. I think that the school has a very special feel to it, um, sort of regardless of you know, staffing changes, uh, changes in student, changes in buildings or in uniform. You want Downhouse to be a place where it's the same everywhere and there is the same sort of feeling when you come in. The um, heart of the school is always the girls and it always has been. When you see the staff, how happy they all are. Everyone seems to get along so well. It's, it's beautiful. 
the way that the school's gone forwards through all those years, but yet I think there's a real theme that goes all the way through in that you can do whatever you want to and you should just set your heart on it and go for it. And it's a, an inspiring sort of place because there's a great range of different personalities amongst the girls which seem to be catered for. They'll, they'll forge their own path and their own journey and, and essentially we have, you know, just under 600 girls and 600 very different journeys. I would say the best part about Downhouse is the diverse culture we have here in terms of the wealth of opportunities we have and also the ability to be an international school and have so many different cultures and traditions brought into the school as a whole. I think if I had one wish that could be granted it would be that I'd be young enough to actually to come back and experience it all now and they have the most wonderful um, opportunities. I mean I don't think there's anything you can't learn here. You, you know, you, the world's their oyster. There's a slight element to downhouse girls that always seem to be a little bit naughty, and that gets you a long way in life, I think. I was toured by, by two girls, and one of them was then, when I, I did get the job and she was in my house, and uh, Sophie had a, what I would say, naughty twinkle in her eye, and she was, I just loved the tour that she, she gave. In lower school, um, when you're in lower four in Darwin, because the house isn't uh, the same layout, there's a window that can open all the way. There's a competition which goes on for generations that you have to run to the far centre and back and get back through the window, but you have to go through the year below's dorm, so you have to somehow convince them that, oh yes, I'm allowed to come out of your window, I'm allowed to go out at night. And my whole year group gathered in our dorm, and this girl even put tights on her head so no one would see her. And our housemistress caught us just as we were about to leave. Yeah, I think yeah. the teachers are kind of caught on to it now. Like yeah. last year, my friends tried to do it and they'd locked the window. So yeah, they just my couldn't. friends did it in the winter and they got a muddy footprint on the windowsill, which made them get caught. I was always terrified of getting into trouble. <laughs> but I know all sorts of people used to do things like sneak into the, the swimming pool in those days was just a big open air swimming pool with a, with a fence around it and anyone could get over the fence. So on hot nights, lots of people would sort of leave their bedrooms and go and have a quick swim. <laughs> so me and Teal both, I think our naughtiest moment was when we snuck into the school pool at night. But I don't think anyone knows that. I guess it's just the everyday life that I really enjoy. And it's the friendship and the people that matters and the memories I've built across the days and not a particular day. So it's just the overall experience, I guess. It down wasn't the sort of place where you had just one special memory, was it? No, I don't think it was. No, we all had lots of adventures, lots yes. of things to learn and splendid people to do things with. And Miss Willis believed that we should not be cliquey and not be orientated to our own age group. Uh, so we got to know um, true cross-section, up and down, different age groups. And I think that was incredibly healthy. I think the best part of being down house is just the friendships. So it's been like I've known them forever. We've, we've just really been close together. We are great friends after, what, 70 years? Um, at least. <laughs> And most of my best friends are from this school. Me too. You come so close with people. It's not like I'm replacing my family, but you have such a good support system here and like so many people to go to. Even though we all came from very different backgrounds, we absolutely have these concrete relationships because of being here and having fun. And I've met with lots of girls who've left and I'm still in touch with lots of girls who's left and they still have the most amazing friendships. And I think it's really powerful actually. They're there for each other for their life. As I'm coming into my last year and thinking about leaving, I'm just looking back at all those opportunities that I had and being so grateful to do it with um, my friends and make such good friends out of it. I think it's remarkable that you've got a, an all-girls school um, that is absolutely thriving. It's quite a legacy, really. It's excellent to remember and also to remember how much it's changed and got so much better. I think Miss Willis would be amazed at the opportunities now. She'd probably be dead proud. I mean, she's got a lot to be proud about. Heavens to live, she started it. And what has happened now, 
yeah, I think it's, it, I think it's wonderful. I think now it's all very, it's very smart and it's very modern and there's lots of technology. Um, but in the end, it's still lots of caring staff who want the very best for their pupils standing in front of the class. As much as it's lovely to have buildings, schools are about people. They are about relationships and making sure, you know, I hope we never lose sight of that. So that's what I hope doesn't change. But I hope we keep moving forward as to how we support, support our young women for the world that's changing.